just take a minute to see it from our point of view. There are times um, because we can't see directly in front of the train that uh, if somebody's come across in front of us, somebody talking on the mobile phone or having their iPod ear plugs in and just being completely unaware. Quite often you just completely are caught unawares by what people are going to do. We can put the brakes on but I don't think people realise that it takes at least 100 to 200 metres to stop. We can't be sure whether we have hit them or not. Uh, we can only um, wait to see if they come out from the side and um, yeah, that's a horrible feeling, not knowing, by the way. It's horrible. It's, um, it's heart-stopping. You, you feel completely powerless. The trauma stays with you. It, even if it is just a close call with somebody, you might have visions of it, you know, for days afterwards. Um, sleepless nights, it's, it is very stressful. I want people to think about what they're doing when they cross in front of a train, walk on the tracks and put themselves into any sort of danger on the railway system, that there is a driver at the front of that train who has to experience that. Don't play with trains. Look, listen and think.